welcome back to another video on the channel my name is trick edge and in this video i will be giving you guys every single tip and trick in order to improve the quality of your mic there will be timestamps linked down in the description so if you want to skip to a certain part of the video make sure to do that if this video does help you make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and comment any questions because i respond to every single comment without further ado let's jump right into it another thing windows allows you to do is go to your mic itself so right click at the bottom right click sounds go to recording Double click or right click. If you right click, make sure to click properties and then go to advanced. Now you always wanna make sure this is at the highest quality because that'll make sure your mic is at the highest quality possible. Once you've done that, click apply, click okay and exit out of here. Outside of this streaming software, you can adjust the sensitivity and the volume of your mic in Windows. All you're going to want to do is right click on the sound right here and click sounds, go to recording and then go to your mic. Mine is the Yeti Classic. You can either double click or right click, go to levels and here it is. I keep mine at a solid 85 because it works for me. You can adjust this. I had it at 65 before and that did the job as well. Adjust this so your mic sounds good. You also always want to make sure your mic drivers are fully updated so they can sound to the best of their ability. Go to the bottom left, search up device manager, go to audio inputs and outputs and look for your mic. You're going to want to right click on it and click update driver. You always just want to let it search automatically and if it doesn't find anything, then your drivers are all good. If you are looking to spend a little bit of money in order to improve the quality of your mic, I do have three accessories right here that will definitely help you in improving mic quality. The first being a boom arm. Now I have a blue Yeti, so I did search up the blue Yeti boom arm, but boom arms vary for specific mics. Any vibrations that is on your desk or anywhere near your mic will be automatically removed once you connect it to a boom arm. So a boom arm is definitely necessary in my opinion. The second one is a pop filter. This will not allow any spit to get to your mic which will also ruin it and it'll also just improve the quality of your voice the final one is also similar to a pop filter but this is just something that just goes around your mic this one definitely improves quality and keeps any saliva away from your mic which will also help its lifespan streaming softwares make it extremely easy to improve the quality of your mic whether it be in the settings or the filters you can do it easily i'm going to be showing you guys my filters because these filters have worked amazing for me if you guys like the sound of my mic in this video then you guys should copy my filters so in Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you're using, make sure to just right click on your audio input capture, go to filters, and here are your filters. Now I only have three filters. I keep it plain and simple. These do the job and my mic, in my opinion, sounds amazing. So we're going to start off with noise suppression. Now, if you have a good CPU, make sure to do the good quality one. But if you do have a low quality CPU, then make sure to choose the first one. All this does is reduces the sound in the background. So if you have like pets in the background or if you have siblings that are screaming, it won't capture it in your mic. For the next one, we're going to be using limiter. Now it's pretty self-explanatory. What this does is limits the sound. So as you can see in the left side, my mic doesn't go all the way up and believe it or not, I am speaking right into it. My mic is right in front of me right now. So it just limits the sound. So if you scream, it doesn't absolutely destroy the ears of your viewers. I recommend having the threshold to negative 7.5 and the release at 60. For the final filter, we're going to be adding a noise gate. All this does is it minimizes the sound of any like very, very quiet clicks. For example, your mouse or your keyboard, if you're clicking it, it won't capture it. This improves the quality of your streams dramatically you could just copy my settings these work for me but if not you can adjust it for your own mic now i know everyone is not able to purchase an actual separate mic and you do have a headset mic voice meter is most likely the only way i have found to fully improve your headset mic on a pc so if you're looking to improve your headset mic because it isn't the best quality make sure to download voice meter learn it and adjust it through there for the final method to improve mic quality i am going to recommend a software that i have seen being widely used across twitch and between other streamers on youtube as well this software is called voice meter and you can download it for free but you can also pay for it to unlock more features this allows you to adjust more advanced features which will also improve your mic quality and the way your voice sounds on your mic so if you're looking to really dig in and dramatically improve mic quality by using this software make sure to download it i'll make sure to link it in the description this is a little more advanced i do prefer the filters on obs and my mic just sounds better without the software however this software will also improve your mic outside of obs which means discord and other recording softwares that you may use Thank you.